Do you want to build a website in React, but you don't know where to start? In today's video, I show you how to set up a React project. We do it step by step, and I will also walk you through the initial project structure. All right, guys, so let's start by creating the project first. And the first thing we need to do is install NPM. Now, NPM is a tool that allows us to manage dependencies. And in order to check if NPM is already installed on your machine, you can do NPM-V. Now, if you get something like this, then NPM isn't installed on your machine. So let's do that first. And therefore we go to Google and we go to the website node.js.org. Then in here, we go to the LTS version. So we are going to install that one. But of course, we're going to do some magical tricks to make this go faster. All right, the magic trick. You see? All right, so now Node.js is installed. And if we do now Node min V, we see that Node.js is installed. And we can now also do npm V. And we also see that npm is installed. Now, the second thing we need to do when we have npm and Node installed is that we need to create our project we can very easily create a React project or a React app via the Create React App tool. This is a tool built by developers at Facebook. Now, in order to use this tool, we need to install it globally first. And therefore, we can simply do npm install-g for globally create React app. I wasn't expecting this, my friends. So I have to figure this one out and I will be back in a second. All right, guys, so it was actually quite an easy one. Well, uh, I hope because I haven't tested it yet, but here it says missing right access to this directory. So yeah, we can simply do this. I copied it from Google to give it a uh, right access. So let's try that. Oh, sorry. All right. Now let's do this again. And hopefully it works. Yeah. All right. Now, once we have installed the Create React App tool, we can very easily create our React app. And that's what we are going to do now. And therefore, we simply go to the folder where we want to store our project. So. Yeah, let's say we want to store it in here. And then we simply do npm init react dash app. And then we just give it a name we like. Uh, I will call this react portfolio dash website and I press enter. And this will create the project and all the dependencies that are needed. So yeah, it is very easy to create a basic project with the Create React app tool. Now, guys, this will really take a while. So let's speed it up. The project is created. Now we only need a code editor because we want to build our own website. And yeah, there are many code editors, but in this video, we will use Visual Studio Code. This one is pretty popular and it is also free. Now let's go to Google and let's go to this website. Let's zoom in a bit. Now I'm using a Mac, so I will download the Mac version. And I will paste this in the applications directory. Let's open Visual Studio Code. All right, in here we want to configure some stuff. Now the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to set on autosave. 
So in order to set up autosave, you can simply go to the help tab and then in here you can search for it and there you simply type in autosave. And when we click it, yeah, it will check this one on. Here we see a check mark. So now autosave is on. And I think this is very uh, handy because I sometimes forget to press the save button and that's not very nice, my friends. Now the second thing that we are going to do is setting up a color theme and I always use dark mode. So again, you can search for color theme and then in here we will use which one is nice. I think I will use dark visual studio. All right, so lastly, we are going to install an extension called simple react snippet. Now, in order to install this, you go to help, you type in extension, and then you get this screen. And in here you search for simple react snippet. And let's make this a bit larger. Yeah, then we have, have to pick this one and we are going to install this. And this is actually, uh, yeah, I think a really helpful extension because you can very easily create, for instance, a class component or a stateless functional component. We have set up everything. Now we are going to open the project in Visual Studio Code. So let's do that. Therefore, we simply do open. development projects and I say open all right let's make this large so everything is set up now when we go to the terminal we can do npm start and this will start our project and a development server so we see the initial project in the browser now let's go to the Visual Studio Code first. And in here are some files that we don't need. Uh, for instance, we don't need this one, so we can remove them. Or I mean this one. And let me see, in the source folder we have the app.css, we don't need that one. Also this one we don't need and the logo csv this and this so we can remove all these files all right so these are the ones that we uh, can remove now in the terminal we see that yeah it fails to compile because probably this is used in some other files so we have to remove them there also so let's search for the files where it is used. Ah, we see it, that it is used in the index.js. So we can remove it from here and we can remove it from here. All right. Uh, and then this one is probably also used somewhere. So let's also remove that one that is here. We just want to start with a clean sheet. So in the app.js file, we can remove this whole part and then in here we say hello world now when we go to the browser well there's still ah we also remove this one so let's remove the import also and I think when we now go to the browser then yeah it prints hello world all right so we now have a real clean sheet we remove the files that we don't need. So let's now see the package structure and let's go through some of the important folders and files. Now at the top, we see the node modules directory uh, or folder. And here we see all the packages which are installed. Now the ones you see here are generated when we uh, executed the create react app command, which we saw in the beginning of the video. All right, and then below the node modules folder, we see the public folder. And in here we see the index.html file. Now this is the only HTML file which we will have in our application. And when the application starts, this index.html file gets loaded first. 
Now the most important part of this file is the following line, this line, because all the components of our application are loaded into this div. And I show you in a bit how this works. So hang on. We now first go to the source folder. Now in this, in the source folder, this is our actual application. Uh, in here, we see the index.js file. In this file, we see the following code, this part. Now this code ensures that the app component, which you see here, gets loaded into our index.html file and then specifically in the root element or the element with the ID of root. Now, if you remembered, that is this element. Now this can still sound a bit weird, but for now it is important to notice that the index.js file and the index.html file are closely related. Now in the index.js file, you typically render one component now, in this case, that is the app component and mostly we give it the name app, but you can give it any name you like. Now, if we go to the app component, then we see that this header, which we see here, is also loaded inside the browser. And now another important point to notice is the following line, this line, export default app, because this line allows us to import this specific file or this React component into another JavaScript file. So if we now go to the index.js file, we see that we are able to import that specific file and with the following syntax, we can inject this app component inside this index.js file. So in order to use a JS file inside another JS file, we need to first export that file, which we saw here. Then we need to import it in the other file and finally we can inject it like this. And later on we use this phenomenon or how do you call it? We use this stuff more. That was not very smooth, but I think you know what I mean. All right, so now to summarize so you can get a clear picture of how this all works together. When we start the application, the index.html file gets loaded first. Now the index.html file is linked to the index.js file via the code that you see here, this code. Now this ensures that our app component gets loaded into this root div element of the index.html. Later on in this app component, we will play in this component, we will place or inject all other components that our application needs. Now, that is also something which we are going to do in the next video. Now, finally, we see another important file and that is the packets.json. And in here we see all the dependencies and scripts that are required for the project. Here on the left, we also see some other files which we haven't covered yet, but for now these aren't that important and to some of them we refer back later. All right, that was it. We created the initial project and we walked through the project structure. Now, if you liked the video, then please like it and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And in the next video, we start building the portfolio website. So I see you in the next one.